Kia ora, Kim. It's nice to be speaking to you. You're in Queenstown? Yep. With the beauty of the mountains behind you. Thanks for coming on to this conversation today. I was blessed enough to be sent by you um, the Creative Manifestation Meditation and Program. And as I did it, I was like, wow, this stuff is really potent. And I would really like to get it out into the world for it to be used, particularly at this time. And so I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the program. I've got my own words around it, but it would be wonderful to actually ask you, what is creative manifestation? Okay, so it's it's just a term that I'm using. There could be a number of ways of describing it, different words to describe it, but it is the conscious creative act of using the mind and the imagination and building chi fields to create what we want either for ourselves or, or for the world at large. And very importantly, to do it for the highest good. So for our own highest good and the highest good of all. Can I just go back to chi fields? Some people listening to this may not understand. Is that like energy field? A chi yeah, field? we could say, yeah. So, so in order to describe a chi field, I need to describe what chi is. So many people have heard of, well, most people obviously have heard of the word energy and they have a concept in their mind of what that is. And qi is the Chinese word for energy, but it's much more than just describing energy. Many people have heard of prana, which is the Indian term for the same thing. It's ki in Korean, you know, it's, it's the same thing, but obviously different words using different languages. And qi is actually energy impregnated with information. So it's the information in the chi or the energy that creates its substance and impregnates it with the direction that it wants to go. And we have the power to impregnate, you know, so to speak, to infuse energy with information to be used for a positive outcome and a positive purpose. And that could be for ourselves, or it could be for somebody else, or it could be for the greater whole. So a chi field is a field of energy and information. And we can build chi fields by gathering the chi to start with. And one has to know how to do that. And obviously we people learn that in, in the course. I'm not gonna go into that here, but we gather the chi first of all, and then we infuse it with the, the information, the qualities, the outcomes that we want. And, and then we, we let it go. <laughs> we detach. We detach from the outcome. But it's, it's a different way of, of creative manifestation or creating our goals or, you know, there's lots of different words that people use. Um, using the power of chi, which is which means that we're tapping into the power of nature and the power of the universe to help us. So we're not doing it all by ourselves, which can be very hard. And if we're just trying to use our mind mentally to create what we want, it's very hard. It's, it's a hard slog. It's a hard push up hill. Whereas if we engage both the use of chi field building, which not many people know about, and it's very unlikely that anybody would know about that unless they've trained in Qigong, and not even all Qigong systems will teach one how to build chi fields. Uh, and also, very importantly, we need to engage the power of the heart uh, and our, our emotions, but not, not obviously not negative emotions, but we need to engage the heart with the right type of feelings because we need to be in a good state to attract what we want to create as well. So there's a whole mix of things that go into this creative manifestation technique. So can I just check in with you because some people may still be a little lost in regard to the words that are being used. 
can you just check that my understanding is so with your creative manifestation course upon this course you will teach people how to create chi fields and then they then are able to create what they want to manifest yeah absolutely and it's not just about building the chi field in the course what the chi field is part of it but it's about focusing on different areas of our life and and there tend to be certain areas in our life that keep cropping up over and over again where we want to make changes or maybe we need some help maybe what we want to actually create something maybe we want to change something and and these these areas are things like our work our home life uh, relationships finances health so so those are core areas that people are often you know that they, they may have problems cropping up or maybe they've got a new project or a venture that they want to get off the ground it, it's just our everyday living stuff um, and so what we do in the course is that we focus on these different areas one at a time and a, a, a um, separate um, it's not the right word but anyway a separate uh, creative visualization meditation is created for each of these areas and all people have to do is listen to that in their own time over and over again so it does need to be done repeatedly this isn't something that just happens you know you do it once and it happens overnight or maybe it could possibly happen like that if it was ready and ripe to happen but it's it's an active use of the mind in a conscious way to create what we want to create and not a lot of us are doing that you know we, we're going around focusing on what hasn't worked and what hasn't happened and what we haven't done or we haven't done right and what went wrong yesterday and we're focusing a lot in the past and even in the present we're focusing on you know what isn't going right and what we don't want and we actually have to train our mind like building a muscle. And this has been a big lesson for me and it still is. I'm not, I'm not an expert in, in this by any means, um, but I have been studying it for some years is that we have to train our mind like going to the gym and building muscles. We have to train our mind to use it in a new positive constructive rather than destructive way. And that takes just like going to the gym, it takes training and practice and repeating. But the more we do it, the easier it gets. And we literally build new neural pathways in our head to think differently, to believe differently, even to create differently. And we have the power to do this. And of course, this is why it's very, very important to be coming from the right place. So as much as possible, tapping into our higher self, whatever people want, you know, there's lots of different terms for, for our higher self. Uh, but it's very, very important in my mind anyway to be coming from, from a place of goodness um, and, and also to be detached from, from the outcome, uh, which is a big part of that. Um, so also in the course, you know, through the guided meditations that we do, we are as much as we can tapping into that, that higher self or in Qigong we say our true self as opposed to our false self. So... Yeah, there are lots of different elements uh, to this process, but it is very, very simple once you know how to do it. And it's, it's especially simple because we're creating these guided visualization meditations. So all the hard work is taken out of it. All, all people have to do is to learn the process of chi field building and then to follow along with the guided meditations. So bringing it back to that simplicity for, for my own thought process as well. So you'll work through us to help us to learn to build the chi fields. And then we have these guided meditations, med guided creative meditations for manifestation, creative manifestation, which comes from the really positive aspect of us. And so we're really, would I be right in saying that we're really training our brain to actually also think in a different way as well? Because you talked about the neuro pathways, and I know that this has been something in the past that you've offered up some brilliant work and writings around, around how the brain thinks. We won't go there, but 
will that be retraining the brain as well when we work through these creative manifestations? If, if we haven't been doing that before, then yes. You know, it depends what people have been doing up until now. How, how have pe people been thinking? It's like if they have a dream or a goal or something that they want to achieve in their life, for example, they've, they've got a health problem, they want to improve it. What is their current attitude about it? What are the current thoughts? Uh, is it focusing on the problem and exacerbating the problem and um, increasing the problem or is it something new? Uh, and we're very good at focusing on the old. And as they say, the definition of insanity, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And by the way, as I said, I'm not perfect in this. Um, but, you know, for example, to give an example of the point of focus, and I, funnily enough, I just did a little video yesterday. Um, actually, I just uploaded it today on this topic. Is if, for example, you have a pain in your body, and you might have, you know, have symptoms, you might have a diagnosis of some sort. What do a lot of people do? Well, what a lot of us do is that we focus on the pain. So say we've got a sore shoulder or we just cut our finger, we go, oh, that really hurts and that's really sore, that's really sore, that's really sore, that really hurts, and that just goes over and over in the mind. But the thing is, Shen, the mind or the consciousness, is the master of chi. So wherever our consciousness goes, chi follows. So chi just follows. It's, it's sort of neutral in a way, but it's going to follow, it's going to follow the path of the information. And the information is the thoughts uh, that we think. And if we understand thought forms, thought forms actually are in, on, on an unseen physical level, they are actually a real phenomenon. They are a form. They're not blank, they're actually a, a, a form, which is why they're called thought forms. So if we are thinking all the time, oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that's sending that information to that part of the body and it's not helping it to heal. It will heal anyway, hopefully, because the body is a self-healing machine. But if we can use our mind in a positive way and go, everything is healed, everything is healed, everything is healthy, and imagine that place to be transparent, uh, totally transparent and full of bright light and healthy. This is not woo-woo, this is real. The energy will go down to that part of the body and it will start implementing the instructions, right? So this is, you know, in a way that's sort of an analogy to how we're, what we do in the creative manifestation process, although we're using it for, you know, relationships or work or finances or health. That's brilliant. Thank you for that explanation. It was very simple. And then when you bring in the, the different areas, so yeah, if it's something that I want to create within my work or I want to create better relationships, the creative manifestation meditation process, the course that you're doing, will help with whatever area that I feel I need to move forward in. Which brings me to my next question. Why is it so helpful to do something like this in your life on a daily basis? What, what does it give you as a person, a creative manifestation, well, meditation? Firstly, if you do have something that you want to change or create, it's going to help you do that in a simple, effective way. Also, it's, it's really good for changing one's state. You know, I, I think it's a really good thing to do personally first thing in the morning. You know, it's always a good thing to do to do meditation first thing in the morning, but to wake up and you could say, OK, for a whole week, I'm just going to focus on this area, you know, and next week I'm going to or a whole month or, you know, maybe I'm going to cycle through every day. But actually, I think it's quite good just to focus for a few days on one area. So every morning, say you wake up and you go, OK, I'm going to focus on my health uh, every day for the next week. And I'm going to listen to this meditation, you know, first thing in the morning. It, it creates a level of posit positivity inside the body and the mind and the emotions. It, it's very uplifting. It puts one into a good space. It puts one into a good positive state, um, a good emotional state. And it's always good to do something that puts one in a good positive emotional state first thing in the morning because it, I'm sure you know this, it, 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 it travels you through the day in that state. It really makes a difference. Like I used to do 
a meditation. I did it for many years called the Inner Smile, uh, which is an amazing meditation for uh, healing the body uh, physically, but also of negative emotions and do it first thing in the, in the morning. And it just changes your state. It changes your body chemistry. It, it turns on positive serotonin type hormone stuff. Um, it, it, it changes how one yeah, feels and thinks and behaves. So that's sort of like a side benefit, we could say, of doing the meditation. But the actual sort of main goal of, of the meditation is, is to create with the help of, you know, of the power of the universe what we want to create for ourselves, but also, as I said, there's going to be a meditation for, um, or there is a meditation for the whole world. It's like, what sort of world do we want to see? Because there's just, in particular, people tend to focus on the negative of what's happening in the world, and especially at the moment. Uh, but that, that of course, is just recreating more of that if we're continually repeating about it. Uh, so we need to actually step out of that and make a conscious choice to go okay well if I don't want that what do I want and focus on that and because everything is interconnected when we're putting that energy into the global chi field because everything is connected and there is a global chi field then we even though we're just one person and it may think oh well, I'm not really making any difference but we are we are and the more people who do this, the more people who put conscious, positive information into the chi field, the more it is going to uh, uplift the whole situation. And it's an interesting thing because when we put in higher vibration, positive information into a chi field, it squeezes out the old stuff. And, and that's exactly what happens in healing as well. When we bring in healthy chi into our body, it squeezes out the old unhealthy chi, which sometimes is not very pleasant. And we can have what are called chi reactions and we feel sick for a while, but that's okay because it's a necessary part of the whole process. So we can collectively, you know, individually and, and collectively go, okay, what, what do I want to see in the world that's different? How, how, what, what sort of government would I like to see? Uh, how would I like politicians to be behaving? What sort of healthcare system would I like to see? What sort of education system, you know, community, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we want. And we put that information into the chi field as we're building it. And then we let it go. We just, we let it go. And we just trust. And trust is a big uh, part of the qigong learning that we have. It's learning to cultivate trust as opposed to fear and anxiety and doubt and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we, we can make a difference in this way. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. So what I'm hearing you say there too is with this creative manifestation um, meditation course that you have created, you're also working on at, at a base level, at a self level, through things like your own health and well-being, your own finances, your own job, your own relationships. But also you've created another part of it which helps us who who would like to to make a positive impact in the world through listening to these creative manifestations is that what I've heard absolutely right? yeah it's right. personal and collective right yeah just wanted to check on that to make sure because I don't think I've been involved with many meditations that bring in the personal and the collective together and of course I know your passion for creating a positive impact on the world so it makes sense that you've brought in the person and and the planet basically the the world so thank you for that well um, I just want to add yeah I mean the reason for that is a I'm just drawn to do it but uh <laughs> is that you know we have a big problem in the world today we we are in a crisis and a lot of people are spending a lot of time focusing on the problem, you know, what isn't going right, what is going wrong. And most people do not realize the power of their thoughts to create. Uh, and at some point, people are going to start waking up to understanding that we have to control our mind and we have to control our emotions and we have to put the right information out into the, the energy field because the outer world is a mirror of our internal world 
and that that is personally and collectively. So collectively, the reason that we're in this crisis is because of the individual personal uh, minds <laughs> of people. We have created this together and we are the only ones who can get ourselves out of this mess. There isn't going to be some savior coming to do that for us. And, and this is where people have to learn that we have to take more and more responsibility for what, it, what happens both in our personal life, but also collectively. And the right use of the mind is one of the biggest teachings of you know, self-realized spiritual teachers. Uh, and not many people are, know how to use their mind in a positive, constructive way. Yes, I keep I keep hearing that all around me, and you're you're reinforcing the power of our thoughts and the power of our emotions. Very, very powerful. Thank you for that, Kim. And also, I'm just as I'm sitting here listening, actively listening. I'm also hearing too at the back of my mind there are so many tech techniques out there at the at the moment. You and I have talked about. Um, all the stuff that's coming through online and in books and the teachers and what's being shared, particularly now that we are so much more online, what makes the creative manifestation different from other things that I may have tried? From my own personal experience, because I've tried different things myself, uh, oh my goodness, you know, lots of, you know, positive affirmation courses and for years, I used to, you know, do creative visualizations every day. Uh, uh, but what really makes this different is the use of the chi field. And, uh, yeah, the use of the chi field, which allows us to tap into these infinite supplies of chi from the universe, from nature, for the highest good of all. So I'd say there's two key things that make it different. A is the, the use of the, the chi fields and understanding all the different components that go into creation, creating what we want. And secondly, the fact that it, it, it really is for, for our highest good, because often we can have goals, uh, you know, like I want that house or I want a million dollars or whatever it is, but it's actually not for our highest good. And more, and you know, really now in our situation, the reason that we I see anyway, that our world is in, you know, such terrible mess is because we have been uh, breaking the laws of life, the laws of the universe. We've been ignorant, or we are ignorant. We've been greedy. We've been plundering the planet. We have been selfish. We, we, we have not been good people. It's not to say there aren't some good people out there, but overall, you know, if we look at, my goodness, the change that has happened in the last hundred years on the planet is absolutely mind boggling. You know, the destruction that we have caused in the last hundred years. So it's time for us to change. And it is only actually by changing ourselves because the outside world, the external world is a mirror of our internal being. It is really fundamentally only by changing ourselves from within one person at a time that we are going to change the outer world. And that change involves us transforming the way we think, the way we feel, the way we act, the way we behave. Uh, and this is just part of it. Thank you, Kim, that's awesome. What, so I wanna sign up, I'm really interested. I'm still not quite sure what it's about, but I resonate to what you say. Um, how do I go about doing that? Like, no, first of all, before you give me the details of how, what, what sort of timing, like just the practicals of how often am I going to do this? What's required? How long does it go for? So just, yeah, just the practicals for those who are listening that go, okay, this sounds great, but what am I going to, you know, how long is it going to take? And Yeah, blah, blah, blah. so, well, it all depends on when people see this video, right? Um, but basically when it's run live, it's a six week course and it's once a week. And usually the webinars go for an hour and a half to two hours. And on top of that, because all the, all the information is in an, uh, a private membership portal, which people obviously get access to, is uh, there is also a lot of additional content in, in the portal because I can't do everything in two hours. Uh, so 
for the live program, people will come along for the live webinar and then they will have the additional content to look at throughout the week. And then they will be practicing the meditation throughout the week. And then we'll come back the next week and we'll have sharings and what did you experience and any questions, et cetera. And then once the program is recorded uh, for the first time live, then it becomes an, just an on-demand program that people can access anytime in their own time, take as long as they want to, to, to go through it. But once you have the recording, it's like anything, once you have a CD, you, you have it, you have it for the rest of your life to, to keep using. Well, recordings, there will be several recordings. Thank you for that. That's really good to have the practical information. And how do I find you? Well, this particular course, you? yeah, so I have different websites, which gets people confused. Uh, but this particular course is on my Qigong website because it is connected with Qigong. So the, the, the website is Tao Health, which is T-A-O Health, and then Qigong, which is Q-I-G-O-N-G.com. So Tao Health Qigong.com. Excellent. And can you send that as a link as well? Yep. Awesome. Yep. <clears throat> And is there anything else that you feel you'd like to share around this specific course? This, so it's a six-week course, and where we'd be, will we be on Zoom? Is it a Zoom webinar course? Yeah, the live one, the live, yeah, the live, live webinars one. are done on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, all, all of that is in the portal. All the instructions are there once one logs in. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And is there anything else that you would like to share that you and I haven't covered? I don't think so. I think we've said everything. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a guided meditation visualization process to create what we want for ourselves personally, or not just want but need personally, uh, as well as collectively. And the byproduct, as you said, is that it helps us to retrain our mind in a positive way, and it is. In my mind, it is an essential part of creating the, the positive change that we want to see in the world. Because it's not just about, okay, well, we're going to, I don't know, give this health treatment, you know, to solve our problem. <laughs> that, that's not going to solve our problems. Uh, there's much more we have to do as humans to solve the problem that we find ourselves in now. Well, that's some good food for thought. Thank you, Kim. So if we want to um, sign up for this program, it's on your website. And can you repeat that website again, please? So DowHealthQigong.com, which is T-A-O, and then the word health, Dow Health, and then Qigong, which is Q-I-G-O-N-G.com. And just a little side I listened to the creative manifestation that you sent through to me and I've listened to a lot of meditations and sometimes I get really kind of fidgety and, but I really also like the way that your voice just held me. So it was, it was easy to listen to. It was easy to hook into, and I didn't do any of the training around the chi. So for me, the, the voice activation that you brought through was was really good. So thank you for that. And thank you for creating this work. Like you say, at this time in the world, it's time for us to retrain. We, we well, we can keep doing what we've always done, but we'll just keep getting the same answers. So I really appreciate what you've done. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for you know, taking the time to do this. <laughs>